Hello, beautiful Aries, and welcome to your message, your energy check-in. I'm Erica. I'm a psychic medium and a prophetess. I hope that you guys are all doing so good. Happy October. Happy all the things, you guys. We have very powerful transits happening. We have a full moon next week. We just had right? The eclipse portal. We're still feeling the energy of all the things. We have Pluto direct. Like there's just a lot. <laughs> there's a lot. Um, all right. So, okay. So I have a song for you guys that I heard like right when I hit the record button um, and it it's Gloria Gaynor, I will survive. Okay. So I don't know. It, just, it feels like you're telling yourself that like, I will survive. Like, it's like, you've had to really tap into that Aries Ram energy where you've had to like, just really take action, you know, um, be more in your power. Um, the first card out is the mask one, one, one on the timer. A lot of the situations and people around you in the recent past and past, like you've dealt with a lot of this energy. Um, people who, it says not showing your true feelings, hiding, pretending, deluding, gaslighting, and personify. So it's like people that, they're just false, they're fake, you know? They are low vibrational, they are fearful. And what I'm getting is like family members. So for some of you guys, this is specific around family. Okay, this could also be like your soul family too, like soul, a soulmate or soulmates, a friendship soulmate, a business partner soulmate, or someone you work with kind of a soulmate, you know what I mean? Because, you know, like we could have soul connections, like many soul connections. I'm getting something about like maybe someone who does wear a mask or did wear a mask like they really admire um there's like a like how you're like it's like Aries energy I know because I'm Aries rising Aries moon it's very um blunt up front you know what I mean like we we call it how we see it you know what I mean <laughs> okay and that's what I'm getting here like someone really likes that about you it's like you're raw and you're real you keep it real okay but like just yeah like you keep it real but there's like a lot of people that you've dealt with or been around that were not real <laughs> you've had a lot of pretenders both platonically and romantically i will survive that's why it's like i will survive you know just go walk out the door don't turn around now. You're not welcome anymore. You know what I mean? Like that's this right here. So you may have like recently told someone like, you know, like, bye, you know, or you pulled your energy away from people, the mirror, mirroring each other, self image, relationships that reflect our wounds, introspection. Okay. So exactly. So it's like, ref you know, relationships that reflect our wounds, like that's karmic, right? Like that's what, you know, karmic relationships are for, you know, it's to bring forth healings, to learn lessons, but that's what it does. Is it like it's trauma bonding? It reflects like the wounds, you trauma bond over wounds. Um, it's, it's, it's feeding the ego, the distorted ego, you know, someone's like obsessed I, it's, I'm getting like a very like conceited kind of vibe here, arrogant vibe. Okay, so it's, I mean, this could be you too. Like maybe this is some lessons that you've been learning. You know what I mean? Introspection, like maybe this is, you know, for some, you know, it would be like, let's say like a divine masculine man who is, is you know, very Aries energy, but was in the distorted masculine. So they were manipulative and, and, and dominating and controlling and things like that. Right. But then they started spiritual awakening or whatever, whatever. Right. And now they 
are healing these things. They, they see how they've been these, you know, in these ways or whatever. Right. So that's what I'm kind of getting. So this could be you too, like just, you know, seeing through your own masks or how you, you know, um, how you yourself have been like pretentious even in life or, you know, whatever, right? Feels like you've ascended beyond this, but that's why I was getting, you know, I will survive because you've been dealing with these energies here. People who are pretentious. But also with the mirror, there is some kind of like soul mirroring here, or it's like maybe for some of you guys, a twin soul, which is, you know, a twin flame, right? But it's someone who like, it's, it's like a perfect match. <gasps> I told you, look at that, you guys. Holy, oh my God. Twin flames. Okay. See yin and yang hunties. Okay. So the twin flame card came out yin and yang Zen. Okay. So you're entering a Zen state. Okay. There's balance happening here. This is about your own inner, you know, light and shadow, your own inner yin and yang feminine, masculine. Okay. There's like a lot of balanced energy happening here with you guys. People also like see you more as like level headed balance. Like it's like people might be even like gossiping or talking like, you know, about you, but it's like people are like, it's like what I'm seeing is like people being like, yeah, like, you know, basically like talking about how far you come or like, yeah, like, you know, do you see they're doing this now? And they're like, you know, it's like gossipy, but it's not like completely like a hater or something, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? But anyways, complimenting each other. I told you, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Twin soul. There it is. Twin flame. It's, and then boom, next card out. You know, and a couple cards, like as I was channeling and just, you know, shuffling, a couple cards had come out. You guys noticed that, but I had put them back because I can feel that wasn't right. It wasn't right. Um, bottom of the deck is the photograph. Someone is very nostalgic here. Feels like someone very much misses you. Looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, making new memories. So you have a high level soulmate or a twin flame. I'm seeing like photos of you guys like on their phone. Like this person is like, you know, they, they scrolling their photo album or whatever. So they have like some kind of memories for some of you guys of you two together. This is definitely for most of you guys, someone that you have been in a 3D union with. Um... It's the twin flame. There's a there's a masculine like runner, someone who who is wearing their their mask. And since you're mirrors to each other in this regard, it was highly triggering. But also this person triggered you too, whether you realize it or not. That's the point. I will survive. This person knows that you are strong, that you are strong minded, that you are strong in your conviction that you are strong in your truth and self-awareness and self-love. You reflected so much to them. You have reflected so much to this person. Um, after the photograph card, yeah, this is someone that you had an, uh, an ending with, some kind of death, death and rebirth. It's like the death card, Scorpio energy, double Scorpio energy with the Phoenix. It's someone who wants to resuscitate this soul connection in the 3d someone wants to come back together with you aries okay and this is not a karmic for some of you guys you may have karmic past partners that circle back or people who resurface to you know bring about some type of final like healing or whatever But this is not karmic, what I'm talking. This is a twin flame or a divine soul counterpart. This is someone who, yeah, it, look at, separate. It's someone who you've been in a separate and missing you. Again, missing you on this card, missing you on this card. Sadness, thinking about you, yearning for you. And yeah, the yearning is definitely like that deep soul resonance or definitely twin flame with that yearning. 
it's 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 a it's it's an undescribable kind of feeling you know what I mean and you really can't even put it into words unless you are a twin flame and you're right um and you have that twin soul it's like different it's next level it's crazy someone could be breaking off an engagement and going through some type of separation or um in a high level commitment here with the ring partnership completion it's completion of some kind of relationship it's completion of a relationship someone's been very unhappy for a while okay um someone could wear like a tux like not like a tuxedo but like a suit for work because i'm seeing like i don't know i'm seeing like men in suits this could be like you know someone who i don't know is very successful they wear a suit for work or they work in like an office space where they wear, you know, suits. I'm getting lawyers. So someone could be like an attorney, lawyer. Um, I'm also getting like a criminal defense attorney. Um, I don't know why it's coming through so strongly. Um, maybe, I don't know. You guys, you know, whoever that's for, you'll know. Um, or maybe someone's practicing law. Um, I'm hearing Harvard Law. So maybe, I don't know, someone out there, right? Harvard Law. I want to get the tea real quick, Aries, okay? So I'm going to use my, what's the tea? Uh, it's not mine. It's by Fire Witch Tarot um, on Etsy. I love her. She has, like, so many different fun decks. So. But uh, this is her one of her what's the tea decks. But I want to get the lowdown here. I want to know what the heck is going on with the separation card, the coffin, and the phoenix. Because it's like an ending here. It almost feels like someone someone has been balancing their own inner energies. You know what I mean? Someone's been healing. Someone's been healing, Aries. I feel like that's you. You've been doing so much healing. But this is someone else. This is like this whoever this other person is. This person has missed you for a very long time. Okay. All right, look at incarceration. So, I mean, I, I was getting that stuff about lawyers. Maybe someone, you know, I don't know. Maybe someone was incarcerated or, you know, um, or, you know, has um, a past about that or I don't know. Okay, but, you know, if that's for you, you'll know. Um, it's like being imprisoned, though. Like, you know, someone's been, like, imprisoned feeling like they've been in prison in life, stuck behind bars kind of a thing. Okay, if you're watching this and you're like thinking that this is someone from your past that you had, like if, if, if this is, if you're tuning in and you're like thinking, oh, this is someone like an ex from the past that maybe, you know, I'm getting like domestic violence. I'm getting like just, you know, calling the cops and kind of very like toxic and kind of crazy. Um, like if you're watching this and you're like, and this part is for you, that part, what I'm saying, this is not your reading because that's karmic energy. And like I said, this is not karmic. Okay. But it is coming through. So I'm going to share it and I'm just sharing it because I want people not to waste their time watching this. Right. Screenshots, getting evidence, proof, and facts. Hmm. You know what I'm getting is the evidence, the proof, and the facts. It's from spirit. It's from source. It's like someone who's taking screenshots of synchronicities. You know, certain times, you know, if they 444, 222, or, you know, they, they see something that reminds them of you on YouTube or Instagram or Facebook or something. Or again, maybe it's like the numbers on a post remind them. There's something here where someone is like screenshotting and it's about synchronicity and stuff like that. Um, but also someone could have found something out, gotten some kind of proof about something, and, and then they go, uh, now I know for certain. Okay, so I don't know. Again, with the mask here, very first card out, like this is giving me that shady energy.
So I don't know um, if this is you or I don't know, but it feels like divine masculine energy who was stuck in something. They're now going through a separation of some kind, creating endings so that they can have these new beginnings. Look, at it says rekindle. And as I, and as I say rekindle, I'm getting like firewood, like kindling, like how you, you know, you use kindling to start like a bonfire or whatever. So there could be something significant about bonfires, campfires, um, sitting next to this person by a fire, or maybe you're, maybe you've been working with fire energy. Um, oh my gosh. Sorry guys. Hi, Sagey boy. My, this is a male kitty, right? He's masculine male kitty, right? So we say hi everybody. Um, for him to just jump up all random like that, okay, like, it's a message here. It's like someone jumping into your life, taking a leap of faith, a jump um, out of nowhere, out of the blue. And it kind of, like, disrupts you. It, like, interrupts your day or your, you know, it, it disrupts you. Maybe not in a negative way where you're like, oh, this is so disruptive. Maybe, I don't know, you might be irritated by this person when they come in. Maybe you've moved on. Maybe this is just all one-sided, you know? I think for most of you guys, that's not the case. But for some, possibly. You know, and if that is the case, then, you know, I'm not sure <laughs> why you're watching readings about it. But, you know. Looking you up. Look at this. Phone, phone. Look at that. Some big spying, some big watching, observing. You're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. You be like heaven to touch. I wanna hold you so much. Da -na 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 -na. Researching you. This person is researching you. They are looking you up. They are learning about you, studying you, and getting info. Okay. Learning from you. Again, mirroring. Mirror. You are a mirror. You are reflecting. Reflecting. Through your journey, you have taught this person so much. Okay, so uh, all right, let's get let's get a little bit more here. Carless, no car repo and car issues. So that could be literal for you know for some of you guys out there. Maybe you're in the process of buying a new car, or you need a new car, or you know something recently went wrong with your car. Maybe something's going, I mean, this could be like, you know, these are the kind of things that happen with tower moments and when we're under judgment and stuff on the universe. So maybe this person has, you know, uh, had car problems or, you know, their transmission went out and they need to buy a new one or I don't know, but um, <clears throat> you know, it says repo and you know, what is like a repo, right? It's like when you fail your, you, you fail to make your payments and you let your payments go or lapse. And then the company, right, that leased the car or whatever, right, like through your loan or whatever, um, they repo the car. They take the car back, right? So what I'm getting here is like someone who's just, they're taking back their their energy, their 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 resources. They're, they're taking their power back. They're repoing their power <laughs> or whatever, okay? So it's like if someone was in like some kind of like toxic like third party or just like a karmic third party where they felt like imprisoned, they weren't growing, like, you know what I mean? Um, they're taking their power back from that. They're repoing their love, their 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 time, their resources oh, from someone else who did not uphold their side of the relationship. You know what I mean um, per se, okay. All right, so let's give one more and then we'll go ahead and wrap it up. Someone who, a grudge holder and romantic love affair. Yeah, see, I said that earlier, like finding something out, getting evidence and proof about something, looking you up, search history, like someone might have like looked you up or saw that this person looks you up. 
grudge holder. Okay, so if, if you're holding any grudges, it's like time to let them go. It's like time to release this, like, you know. Um, feels like someone's afraid that you're going to have a grudge towards them. Whoever this person is, a sex fix, secret lover, and F buddy. <laughs> F buddy. Someone is, someone got caught up. Mm -hmm. There's something here about like the truth coming out. Okay, so I don't know. Feels like karmic -y, but also maybe you are finding things out about people, like I said, right? Um, or you find something out about, you know, a family secret or something that was kept from you or, you know, I don't know. Um, I just, you know, uh, I forget what it was that I was watching, but it was like someone who was like basically like an adult and um, they like just found out that they were adopted. You know what I mean? Like that kind of stuff could come out, you know, and that's just an example. But you know what I mean? Like. It also feels like Aries that this person tried to maybe treat you like they treated other people, you know, that they dated in the past, like. Um, you know, by like, you know, by, by gaslight, by gaslighting, by, you know, just trying to be like charming or like a love bomber or trying to impress or whatever, but like you're different and you were not impressed by their, you know, um, by their dog and pony show, basically, you know what I mean? Um, five of wands just came out. Yeah. There's something here about battles and arguments and fighting. I feel like that's the energy or I get like a tense energy, but I feel like it's people around you. So for instance, right? Like, let's say you are, you know, a friend invites you over for dinner, you know, to their house. It's, you know, oh, you know, them and their boyfriend and they're like, oh, come over and have dinner. Right. We'll, we'll cook dinner. So you're like, okay. And then you go to your friends and, and their, her boyfriend's house, right. For dinner. And then at the dinner table, they start to bicker at each other and argue right? And then it's uncomfortable because that shit's uncomfortable when people do that. And it's a form of like, you know, like energetic, like aggression and harassment, basically on my, in my books, it is because like, how dare you have some boundaries? You know, I'm your guest. It's kind of like that, right? That's what I'm getting here is like someone feeling very uncomfortable, but it's not because of you or what you're doing. It's because of what other people are doing or projecting onto you. It feels like two Aries that like there could be people around you who were trying to instigate or just yeah like instigate like a fight or like people are trying to trigger you. Wow okay look at the lovers showed up right away you have the twin flames and the lovers. Someone is very competitive when it comes to you. It's like, it's like someone who feels like they have competition here. Okay. It's like they, this is someone who knows that you are, you know, like, like people, people admire you. A lot of people see you like this. They, they, they would love to love you. You know what I mean? Like people would love to love you. You're very selective though, Aries. You're very selective. You know, you you know your worth and value, right? You know what I'm getting is like I want to fight for 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 your love. I I want to fight for your love. Someone wants to fight for your love. And then we have the queen of it's the warrior queen. I mean, she has a weapon, right? Okay, it's like it's like messaging, communication. There could be something about like flying on an airplane, booking a travel, like a, a booking a, an, a a flight, looking at flights. Air, uh, you know, someone's trying to figure things out. So someone might be like planning something. This person also views you as someone who's very um in your power. 
Like they know you don't take any ish. You know what I mean? Like you, you are going to get cut out real fast. I'm protected by my animal guides, my doves, my spirit guides, you know, I'm not, you're not going to juggle me. I will cut you out of my life like that. You know what I mean? It's like that. This person, yeah, okay. The Wheel of Fortune There's a, is a turning point in destiny. The Clock of the Tarot. Some karmic lessons have been learned to where the wheel can now move. Destiny can align. Yeah, it's someone that you've been in a separation from whom you make very happy. You activated you activated one another or, or you activated this person. Because whoever this was, they were very emotionally immature. Very emotionally immature. And you're like showing up here as like double queen energy, man or woman. You are a higher frequency than this person. The caterpillar cannot mate with the butterfly. Wow. Okay. I'm going to leave it here, my loves. Um... Whatever's been going on, someone's been like, I feel like this is you too. Like you've been cleaning up messes in your life, like just stuff that needed to be healed or cleared or do you know what I mean? And I also feel like this person has been doing that too, but it's like this person wants you to know, like I'm, I don't know, like I'm taking care of things. It's basically like, you know, I want you to be happy. You know, I would never want you to wait for me or anyone um but i just want you to know like what's going on where i stand and i feel this person is going to communicate and reveal some things here at least that's what they're planning i do feel that they're going back and forth though you know maybe about what to say or how to say things because again this person you know they hold you in a very high regard and so they don't want to you know they don't want to sound like a page you know what I mean because they know that they've given that page energy before you know this person could have also for some of you guys like given the excuse in the past of like I've got a lot going on I don't have time to be committed or in a relationship I'm very busy you know I wasn't really looking I'm concentrated on my career right now whatever it is right I'm also getting that this person used like the physical realm like work or whatever it is um they just, they, yeah, they, they made excuses, but this person is kind of like, they don't know up from down right now. They've had a lot of stuff going on. I mean, look at, look at his, like his tights or whatever. Okay. Like, look at, they're different. He's wearing two different, like, you know what I mean? So he's trying to hold it all together, but like, no, he's a mess. Okay. For some of you guys, this is going to resonate, but you've had past lives in ancient Egypt with this person. This person is definitely a ghost from the past. This is someone who, you know, you guys, you, they, it's like they, they find you, you know, um, they find you. I think it's a part of, I don't know. I'm just getting that. So it's like this person maybe approached you first or they found you online or sent you the first message. You know what I mean? To initiate. There's also something about uh, Horus and the sun god Ra. And some of you guys could be having dreams about like symbols, um, hieroglyphs, light codes, you know, ancient symbol, symbolism, stuff like the runes. I don't know. I'm just getting that too. Okay. Well, this is where I'm leaving it. Um, so let me know how this connects with you guys. Um, I, you know, I wasn't, I just channel whatever comes through. And so they really today wanted to talk about this divine connection, you know, whatever it is for you guys. But this is very twin flamey, very, very twin flame. Okay, and that's not going to be for everyone, obviously. But I don't know. It's powerful. So anyways, loves, I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Um, if you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one and connect with my uh, psychic gifts, mediumship, healing gifts, um, whatever it is, you can find all of my reading options and spiritual services down below. I, I do general readings. I offer a 20-minute event sesh. I do past life Akashic um record readings. So tapping into your soul's lifetimes, incarnations, um, uh, getting to connect with yourself on that level, uh, quantum healing sessions. I do a, um, one hour goddess channeled session, um, with goddess Isis and Mary Magdalene. 
um, you know, for whoever feels called to them or to that. And then I also channel other guides and deities, etc., ancestors, whoever that comes through um, during that session too. Uh, and I just, we just did yesterday um, our 1010 portal activation quantum healing workshop where we astral travel to Stonehenge and then from Stonehenge um, to another sacred site on earth. Um, and it was a beautiful, powerful, um, transmission session, healing, like crazy. This one was centered around the dark shadow, dark feminine, dark masculine. This is about our deep, dark wounds, the unconscious stuff. Um, you know, diving into the underworld. This is the deep shadow work that so many have trouble with or don't know how to do, or, you know, um, are, are fearful of mostly it's fear. Uh, and the goddesses um, that governed and channeled through me um, was goddess Hecate, Lilith, and Freya. Goddess Isis was there holding space along with her beloved twin flame Osiris, um, you know, bringing balance for masculine and feminine polarities. But uh, Osiris was there for holding space for the dark masculine. But anyways, it was just so freaking powerful, you guys. So if you're interested in the recording, um, because it's on a quantum level, so whenever you tune in or tune in again, it's like you're there real time every single time, you know? Um, but if you're interested in purchasing the recording, um, the recording is cause it's like a two and a half, three hour session. I mean, granted, like there's a lot of stuff, you know, besides the actual transmission, but the actual transmission is like an hour and a half or something like that, because there's just a lot and it's very in depth and you know, it's, it's just, it's crazy. Right. So um, anyway, so if you guys are interested to send me an email, you know, I'm interested in the 1010 portal recording, uh, $44 USD, uh, email is down in the description box as well. Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot at gmail.com. And I think that's it. So I love you. Have a beautiful day and I will see you soon. Namaste. Bye.